good morning guys welcome to today's video today we are headed out early we're going we're going to pick something up mom does mine look like a lola no, i love lola you can't steal it from me i might pick lola if you no. don't pick it all right well what are we getting goats we're going to pick up our goats so we got goats Sam bought, but Sam got goats. He just all of a sudden one day was like, I'm getting goats and goats have always been my dream. And we never had like a suitable place for them before. I can but name it Snickers. We do. Snickers is not a girl's name. So Sam wants to pick up the goats in our horse trailer. Oh, they're all calling to us. They're like, come and get me. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day, you guys. The craziest thing happened last night when we came home from the show. We came home from the horse show like at eight o'clock at night, it was so long. So we came around the corner in our truck, with our truck and trailer. Like you couldn't, we, we came around the corner, the horses were in the field, it was just Penny and the mini and the baby. We come around the corner, Penny perks her head up and looks like we're far. We're like on the corner. Like you can't just like, she couldn't see inside the window or maybe she could, I don't know, horses maybe have super crazy vision. And she turned her neck, looked, saw our truck and her and the baby ran to the gate. Like she looked up, saw our truck, recognized our truck and just ran to the gate. She was so excited that we were home. Like it was, it was just insane. Like it's amazing how horses get so used to their routine. Like I maybe swear. They were just excited that the other horses were home. No, well maybe, but they knew our truck. Like it's just crazy. Like we were not even super close. It's not like they looked up and saw our faces in the truck. They looked up, saw our truck and our trailer from like, <laughs> from the front and ran to the gate and they were like freaking out. They were so excited and just now uh, they look so excited. Those little two dark brown ones are twins. So they yeah, I like the twins. <laughs> no, they're so adorable. <gasps> this little guy's not fixed, but you could get him fixed. Hi. Yeah. So is that the mom? This is mom over here. Yeah. Oh, she's cute. Oh my gosh. That's uh, uh. all right, that's Selfie. Okay, Selfie, we have a huge choice here. <laughs> You're adorable. All right, I like that little tiny white one. It's choosing time. There's a little mini. So that, I, I really like the mom. Sam doesn't want a boy. Oh my goodness. I love her. So all these baby goats and Gabby and Kate go for the dog. <laughs> Do you want to come home with us? She said yes. She said me and my twins. Aww. Like our goats, if they all come running. If you give them, I want this. Food. I know it's so adorable. Wait, a second. Oh my god. Okay, so I want this one. We should get this one. We we'd have to get the brown mom and the brown yeah. uh, two babies. And I'm okay with that. Really cute. She's like, I want him. I wanted that hay in my face. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Hi, baby. You're so cute. Which one are you having? The little brown one that I was holding. The little girl? Yes. Yes, both of you. Come on. Yay! Sorry, you came for free. Wait, count them. <laughs> I think there's one too there's many here. <laughs> it's an illusion. Help me! Baby. <laughs> oh, hello, puppy. All right, we're ready to roll. We ended up, we wanted four. We planned to get four girls, but then it turned out that one of the moms that we wanted had baby twins, and one was a boy, and he's not 
a weather because he's just young. So anyway, we're going to explain more about them when we get them home. But this is what we're getting. They jiggle. Gabby says they, they jiggle. jiggle. Gabby makes friends with any animal wherever she goes. But only, only animals that like are not the kind that Sophie and I like. Sophie and I love goats and chickens and Gabby hates goats and chickens. Actually, do you like goats? No. Yeah, but she loves dogs and cats. Hi. Honestly, Gabby always has like the best relationship where she can tame any dog. Any dog or any cat. They always go to Gabby. So we plan to get four goats. And then we got here and what happened? We got six. No. We did not get six. Couldn't even lift it. Gabby said that those dogs weighed more than me and Sophie said everything weighs more than you, Gabby. <laughs> anyway, it's so nice where we got our goats. Like such a beautiful place. So we wanted two girls. So what we picked before we came through pictures was two girls and their babies. But then when we got here, it turned out that one of the girls actually had had twins. And one was a boy and he's not, he's too young to get it fixed yet. So that will have to happen. But we got a mom with twins and a mom with a singleton. And we- a what? A mom with twins and a mom with a single baby. Yeah, you said something. Singleton. And then that's our little herd, our, that's our, our first little goat herd. So our work is cut out for us, making them friendly. We're excited, so let's take them home and show them their weed patch. All right, we are home. Might have to go up there and back it up a bit. <laughs> Sophie's telling Sam how to drive. Sophie's like me. Well, because <laughs> I have it planned in my head, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Because my head's a little stupid. All right, so we're not gonna be able to get close enough to the gate. This is the gate that we're gonna put them in. Just grab those panel things that dad got. All right, so what we're gonna, so we couldn't get like the trailer into the field. I wanna go in, I wanna go in. <laughs> so we're gonna have to carry our babies. Wrangle All right. All right. Let's wrangle Wrangling us. No, Wrang I'm wrangling Lola. Oh, All right. Sleeping, huh? Aww, I wanna see. Aww. Let me grab Lola, she's, oh All right. my goodness. All right, mom move. Oh, who thinks this is going to go well? The problem is... They're so cute! Oh my gosh! Did you grab one? She grabbed the baby, not the mama. The baby's going to run towards the mom. I got my baby. Whew, babies are crying. We're, we're waking up the neighborhood. Let's get this going. That way and make sure they don't go this way. All right. Leave open the door me. open. Okay, let's go. Go to your baby. Go no. to your baby. Go no. to your baby. Go to your no. baby. <laughs> Go to your baby. Good girls. Go little boy. Go little boy. Good. Yeah. You're home. <laughs> the babies are screaming. All right, I gotta open this door and let them in. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Look at the weeds are taller than the babies. Over here. Come on. Oh, she's looking. She's like, okay, that's my baby. Come on. <laughs> Mama. They're like, Mama, feed me. This is stressful. I feel really bad for them. Come here. Come on. So. It's going to be a full-time job to get them happy, friendly. So I know most people use hay, and we actually have hay that I'm going to end up throwing in here. I hate hay. Now that I had to clean up that whole thing of hay, <laughs> it's awfully quiet <laughs> for having babies. So this is like the pen that we're just going to keep them in during the summer when it's nice out. I cleaned it all out the other day. and. Whew. Um, it closes up at nighttime, but it opens all the way up to outside, which I love. And then in winter, we'll put them in like proper stalls where they can be warm. They haven't even tried to eat a weed yet. Like we got them so they can eat all of our weeds. So <laughs> they better get eating. Oh, oh my. 
my goodness. Okay, so that's mom. Mom won, and Sophie's calling her Mocha. The one with the white spots is a boy. That one right there is a boy. And that's my girl. I think I'm gonna name her Tilly. And then her baby, that's her baby, is mine too. And actually the boy's mine too. <laughs> yeah, you're sharing. Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna share the boy. <laughs> well, I said in the car, I said, I get like a mom and a baby and then I get the boy. And she said, no, dad gets the boy. <laughs> Actually, Dad does get the boy. He says that he gets the boy, but that I get to take care of him. So, obviously, we have our work cut out for us, making them friendly. I like this little feeder. <laughs> Wait, I need to get out of the barn. That's why. And I don't want to, like, I want them to have free choice hay, but I want them to eat the weeds. This is more for, like, at night. But I also want them to not make a like I don't want to like before when we came here remember when I emptied these things up in the barn how messy they were I don't want to do that again like that had old so much old sandy growth hay in it oh here they come <laughs> Sophie's on goat, goat kitchen duty we're gonna get a small water trough for the water for inside their stall because I don't want to use water buckets. We have a water bucket right now, so I'm just going to bring me a hook, a couple of hooks, and I'm going to hang them up. I don't want that, though, because they're kind of, like, messy and they can be tipped over and stuff. Even if they're hung up, they can be, they're oh, messy. The barn. <laughs> the barn, she says. Barn. Don't stress them out. So we're going to get a little tiny water trough. For inside and then outside, they have um, the electric waterer. Come on! Okay, so we need name ideas, you guys. We need to figure out names. The only ones that have stuck so far are Tilly, which I want to name my mom, and Lola, which she wants to name her baby. Those are the only ones that we have really stuck. So we need ideas. We need ideas. We have four girls. <laughs> One boy. They won't come in here because I'm in here. Oh, we're moving the horses tomorrow. We have a ton of work we have to get done. Sam's gone to work on it right now because we're never going to get done. And, oh, they're eating. Oh, my gosh. They're like, whoa. You see my mom and my, my baby, Tilly and Taffy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, they're like, whoa, this is crass. <laughs> it's funny because where we, where we got them from is beautiful. Like, their pens are, like, all beautiful wood posts and so pretty. And then we brought them to this weed field. <laughs> but hopefully they like it because there's a lot to do here. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot to eat here. Um, we have some ideas for toys that we're going to make for them. We're going to bring over some balls. But we also have some wooden stuff that we're going to make. <laughs> so they're all together there, and except for the little boy. Sam says he's going to name the boy. Shoot, I forget. Sam named the boy. He has a name. I wanted to name him like Felix. But Sam said no. Look at them eat. So I don't want them to overstuff themselves. We need more. That's like such a huge space. Did you know it takes 10 to 12, 8 to 12 goats to eat a one acre piece of land? Oh, there you go. I wish you were fainting. <laughs> I wish you were a fainting goat. <laughs> don't stress them. <laughs> You have to be patient and sweet. Sit there with them like we do with the horses. No, no, you found the grain. Oh, don't let them get in the grain. Anyways, so I have a mineral block that I'm going to bring down. I want to get loose minerals. And I have baking soda. So I have, I have everything. I house goats until. What? Because I, I want to, the person that I follow that has horses, um, she outside yeah but I mean when their their mom is oh you mean when she buys them yeah yeah but they're nursing all of them go in the house <laughs> Sophie wants to take five goats in the house to make them friendly I'm just gonna sing. she's looking at you Mocha is looking at you Hi, <laughs> they're loving the food though it didn't take them long to figure out it was there 
Well, they definitely think they've come to a all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> They're not ever going to get sick of it. Well, they don't want it. Like, right now it's new, like, because they ate hay. So the only way to move them is to grab the babies and then get the moms to follow the babies screaming. But when they were in the trailer, I was trying to catch that baby over here. The one that has no name yet. Tilly's baby. Um, I don't like Tilly. I love the name Tilly. She was protecting her baby the way that Gracie protects honey. Sophie's are like closer to her and then mine are closer to me. I like the little baby. She's cute. She's all white. Oh my goodness. And she's got the black stripe down her back. I don't know anything about goat colors yet. But I love the chocolate ones. The little girl is going to look just like her mom, and then the boy looks just like the dad. Oh, and the breed. I didn't tell you guys. These are Nigerian dwarf goats. So we wanted Nigerian dwarf, fainting, or pygmy, with pygmy being like the one we really wanted. But these ones might have some pygmy in them. So I cleaned up a lot of the hay that was in here. I cleaned up this huge pile, that huge pile. I just have half of this. I have that to clean up. And... Some, and Sam's supposed to be working on this. He had to go home and get some stuff that we needed for the goats though. And it's gonna rain. Someone was mentioning about how like, horses need, horses like Chino need like no mud, even though he has to be on like a dirt paddock, which is just annoying. And so I wanted to tell you guys what I noticed the other day, yesterday, I don't know. We've done so much in the last two days that it's all running together in my head. I'm gonna use this purple thing for baking soda. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that we were out just the other day when we were working in the barn. Um, we were outside and it was raining. It was raining hot, like off and on all day. It was pouring. Then it would stop, then it was pouring, then it would stop. And then we went out when it stopped and we went out into the field and the whole field was dry, except for the bottom. I'll show you guys in just a sec. I'm gonna get this baking soda and then I'll let you, and then I'll show you. Okay, so they were saying, whoever it was, was saying like, you can't stand in mud, but because there's like a natural slope all the way down here, there's no mud up here at all. There was no mud up here at all. In fact, I even, and it drained so fast, I forgot that it even rained until I got right here. There's this like little low spot. Oops. There's this little low spot right here and then down there. And when I was walking over there, it was wet. Sam and I were super excited about that because I hate a muddy paddock and when you have to have a mud paddock, a dry paddock, then that's what you get a lot of times. I think it's gonna have good drainage though. In fact, I think this farm has good drainage. So this is the path that we're gonna use to go to the goats every day. It's just outside the house. It's the easiest way to get there. Otherwise you're walking through a hundred gates and I lawn mowered it just now. Sophie's still out here and they're getting closer and closer. See, I told you. Both mamas and my baby? Yeah. My baby be friendly. See, they're getting closer. I really wish I'd cut this too because these weeds are annoying to walk through. I'll have to move that rope too. All right, so Sophie and I may or may not have peed in their stall because <laughs> we didn't want to leave and we had to pee so bad. So that's the mineral rock that I have so far. So baking powder is basically so that they don't bloat. And if you give it to them, like we always just give them to them uh, free range so they can come in here and they can eat it whenever they want to. And they know when they get like a belly ache and they know when to eat it. And like I said, I much prefer, I much prefer loose stuff as opposed to like a rock like this. And we're going to go to the store tomorrow and we're going to get all the things that I want to make it more versatile because honestly, I worry they're just going to spill that stuff. And actually, I could maybe tie that bucket to a to a brick too and get it up off the ground. I think we're going to put the cat down here in the tack room, in the feed room, and I'm just going to clean it all up for him and make it nice so that he can get, like when all the doors are closed and stuff, he can get out and run around, like be in the whole barn and while well, he gets used to being here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I honestly... Um, don't think he's gonna stick around even when I open the door, no matter how long I leave him in the big barn. And it, it's because we have dogs. The dogs don't have access to this pasture and they don't ever come down here unless we bring them. 
So we have a better chance if Ollie thinks that this is his home. He'll be less scared in here. And then the goats will be in here if he wants to have friends. <laughs> Hi, what's her name again? Uh, Lola. Hi, Lola. That's the brown one. I love the brown one and her baby the best, but Sophie took them. So uh, Sam ordered collars with little bells. But so we're gonna end today's video. We're gonna set more up, more things up. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. Hopefully Sam will get back soon and can finish Chino's field because all the stuff inside we can kind of finish even when the horses are here. She's showing me her pictures. Do you love them? What the happened to that? Do you love them? <laughs> you spilled it off. I spilled, I spilled some baking powder on me, baking soda. But anyways, do you love them? Yeah. I do too. The I love them. Cute. I'm so excited. The boy is really cute. He's. I love the little girl. I love the little girl. So my I don't girl. know. My girl. We're gonna get him fixed and probably keep him because he'll make a really good little pet. But that is it for today's video. I'm scorching hot. I forgot to get the bug spray and I forgot to get the broom and I forgot to get a garbage bag. I'm gonna. We're gonna Sophie and I are gonna spend the rest of the afternoon in this little uh, barn and get the cat set up and get things cleaned up in here. Uh, I'm staying with my goat. <laughs> um, but before we end today's vlog, you guys will have already seen Sophie's disastrous show. How do you feel about your show now, Sophie? It was a disaster. How, why was it a disaster? Because people don't know their spacing. She just felt really frustrated because people weren't spacing correctly, but we're all learning and that's the thing I wanted to say to you, Sophie, is that like for all the mistakes that you make when you cut people off, they're just making mistakes because they don't, they don't for whatever reason too. Like we're all learning all the time. Oh, they're finding the water. I mean, the babies won't. <gasps> they're exploring. Oh, they got it, they got it. All right, that's it for today. We will see you guys tomorrow and hopefully you guys will come up with some good names for us. Hopefully our little goats will be friendly or when you see us next. <laughs> see you guys in the next one. Don't you know that you're beautiful?